Darcy, thank you. Well, I won't tell you how much they cost, but let's just say it's a hundred times more than that pathetic little cross. Oh, <laughs> shut your face. No one's asking how much anything costs. Yeah, but they're only glass, aren't they? Glass? You have got to be joking. <laughs> Look it to me. Well, it's the thought behind the gift that counts. Yeah, more like, what's the cheapest I can get away with? Yeah, or maybe even, how can I use Mum's birthday to show off? All right, you two. Yes, thank you, everybody. I'll tell you what I would be grateful for, and that's as much help as possible to get ready for this party tonight. Right, OK. Well, I've decided to take the afternoon off. Uh, I'll seek the decorations, shall I? Yeah, please, Bill. That'll be my present. Mm. Better than earrings. See ya. Bye, Sarge. Oh, yeah, and if you want to do any shopping this afternoon, you can borrow my car. I might just do that. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. Right. See ya. See ya, Bill. Dad. Bye. See ya, Dad. <coughs> and, uh, oh. talking of birthday parties, I've been invited to one on Saturday night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Bristol. Lad I used to go to school with, Jimmy Woods. No, you don't know him, but, uh, I think he's trying to turn it into some kind of reunion. So are you going to go? Well, Bristol's a bit far, isn't it? Although, he said he can put me up. Well, I think you should if you want to. It'd be a change if nothing else. Mm, I don't know. I'll think about it. But, uh, you sure you don't mind? Of course not. I think I know the shop she got these. I'm going to go and see if they've got another pair, see how much they cost. You're as bad as she is. <laughs> I'll see you later. See you later. I was thinking I haven't seen my dad for a while. Might go this weekend and stop over. Oh. You don't want me to go, do you? Well, no, you'll only get bored. Um, except I don't want you ringing me every five minutes to ask me how I am. Well, when have I done that? You do it every time I go anywhere by myself. Right, then. I won't. Right. I'll see you later. So that's hey. Um, are you and Connie going to this party? Said we might. Don't know if we will, though. Connie's not that keen on parties. If it wasn't for Tyrone working for Kevin, I don't think I'd be going either. Mm. Right. See you later. So I love it. Okay, okay. Why don't you go and see whether you can give Maria a hand with that gorgeous little baby of hers? Yeah, I will. Well, you know, I sometimes think Tony doesn't want me there. What's he said? Nothing. It's just the way he looks at me. Like he's thinking I'm useless. Oh, he looks at everybody the same way, just ignore him. Yeah, okay. You coming, Ches? No, um, I want a word with Chesney. Oh, All right. What about? Well, go on then. Right. Yeah. See ya. About Steve. Because if it is, I just don't want to know. I just don't want to hear his name else. I don't know what I might do. Well, then you're forcing me to keep secrets from you, and I don't like doing that. What secrets? OK, well... For one thing... I'm going to visit him later today. You're mad. It's not him that should be locked up, it should be you. Hey, where are you going? School, where do you think? I'm for another thing. I'm going to marry him. Reservations, please. Hey, they made me one. I thought you still on with that Ford. Could someone need your coffee? Oh, sorry, mate. <gasps> Hello? Yeah, I'd like to book a double room for Saturday night, please. Yeah, just the one night. And if you've got one of those executive rooms, you'll have that, please. Well, fine, yeah. Hey, suits you. <laughs> Hi. Um, 
Yeah, that's great, we'll take that. But if you do get a better room available. Thanks. Um, credit card? Barry and Helen are coming to see you and the baby. The last thing they want to see or expect to see is me. Yeah, but I will have cold without you. If it wasn't for you taking him off me, I'd never even get a wash. Look at the state of me as it is. Hey, he's smiling. Is he? Yeah, well, they'll be pitching in. They'll be doing everything to help that I can. Yeah, but anyway, I feel like I was trying to hide something from him and I don't see why I should. You've been as good as living here since before he was born and that's not something I'm ashamed of. He's smiling again. Compromise. I'll stay until they get here, but I'm not staying the night. I'm going back to the flat. Here you go. So why can't you come out? I mean, you must get a tea break. Yeah, only what that means is you get a cup of tea, but you're supposed to drink it stood behind the counter. I can't come out every time you fancy a chat. There's stuff we need to talk about, come on. Oh, like what? Like, how do we get the money for this flat? Jason, there's nothing to talk about because we can't get it. Nobody will give it us. End of conversation. Well, folk round here borrow money. What's different about us? What's different is we have any money or any, um... What's that word? The word sense, Tina. Collateral, OK? We haven't anything. And if we haven't anything, then forget it. Nobody's going to lend it to you. They only do that if you've got a load of dosh to start with. Well, that's stupid, isn't it? We don't need it, do we, then? Dead stupid, but then... Banks and all them, they are stupid. Everybody knows that. Well, we could try and borrow it. Who do you know who's got money? Hey, what about Rita? Well, she has. It's because she don't lend it to folk like us. You know, I don't blame her. I wouldn't lend it to us if I had it. And if I wouldn't lend it to us, then there's nobody else going to be, so... All right, Dave. Yeah, fine. Except deep down inside, he still wants to kill me. Oh, come on. Probably you and all. It's just him seeing us together that sent him mental. He'll get used to it, cos he has to. What else is he going to do, eh? Mm. That's what I'm wondering. See ya. See ya. Evil cow. Who is? I mean, what's she got to stand on the street with him for? She saw that everybody can see. And especially me, like, I need to see that. Tina? She's only doing it because she enjoys doing it and see how it gets me all wound up. Yeah, well, like that, because whatever it leads to, she'll have caused it, won't she? Did you get any biscuits? Forgot. Hey. Natasha. Oh, hello. Can I ask you a big, big favour, please? Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a big like me? I'm gonna wonder what's going on. Let him. <laughs> Did you get that out of a coin flex packet? No, I didn't. It's my daughter's, if you must know. All oh, right. Where does she get it from? Some grateful sugar daddy? Because if she did, she wants to stick hold of him. I'm sorry. I haven't got time to stand here gossiping. She bought it with money that John Stape gave her. Do you know him? No, I sort of got to him before she did. Fizzy's boyfriend who kidnapped Rosie and kept her locked up. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing something about that. Well, his latest trick is he's given her a ton of money from an inheritance he has. How much? Oh, too much. Because you know how Rosie, well, you see what she spent it on. She can't even drive. God, some folk have all the luck, don't they? All any fella's ever given me has been a pack of lies. Just go out to the shop. Be back in a minute. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. I'll get that, will I? Um, might be then. Mind you, it shouldn't be. Said they weren't catching a plane till this afternoon. Come in. Thanks. Oh yeah. I haven't told her. Hey, tell me what. You were moaning about how you looked before Barry and Helen descended on you. So I thought, who's the very best beautician in the north of England? Only, um, she wasn't available, so... Uh... <laughs> I asked Natasha. Ah! No, you're making me say things I don't mean to. No, Natasha has very kindly agreed to help you get ready to face Liam's grandparents. Only if you want me to. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll look after him. I don't deserve you, you know. He has been so nice. Mm. Been helping me out with Liam. 
Never mind, even if it's in the middle of the night. Even if he's as tired out as I am. You, know, you still manage to think of something really lovely like this. Mm. Well, you must have cast a spell on me, because I'm not usually this nice, am I, Natasha? <laughs> no. So, on that note, give me him. Here we go. And let Natasha go on with her work. Mm. Here you go. Just... Right. <laughs> you know what I would do if this were my shop? Yeah. What? Well, you refuse to listen to anyone else's advice. Well, I'm the same, so please, Uncle, we made you wasting your breath. <laughs> I would have a much wider range of goods, you know, and I would have them uh, filling the shop piled high so there is barely a room to move. Oh, just like a typical Indian shop. Oh, yes, why not? If you like it, why not? Because this is not an Indian shop. Thank you. No, this is a shop that's owned Thank by you. me. Yes, it's for Indian space. room for Saturday? I've done it already. Yep. You move fast when you want it, don't you? And I want it. It's one pound seventy, please. It's your boyfriend that shelled out for this, then. What? Um, yeah, in a manner of speaking, I suppose it was. Mm, it was for pig sick. All that money that should have been his and yours being chucked away. If it were me, I'd take an hammer to it, turn it into a pile of scrap. Can't say I haven't been tempted. <laughs> well, have a go now. We want to see you now, will we? Huh? Uh, <clears throat> no. no. Look, there's been times when I could have, but... Well, I don't have a hammer with me. Well, wish it was something else, then. Go on, you feel better. All right. Just once. Go on, go on, girl. That's it. Go on, get out of your system. <laughs> Someone's trying to damage your car. What? Hello, I said someone's trying to damage your car. You say something about your car? <laughs> oh, that was only joking. Oh, cavalry's here. Hey, what's going on? She was trying to dent your car. I was not. Well, I hope not. They said we're ringing the police. You can go to jail alongside your boyfriend. It was only a joke, wasn't it? Yeah, of course it was. Uh, I must say, I think it was intended as humour. I think there is a scratch. Where? Just there. See what you've done. Yeah, and I'd do it again. Oh, you're coming in, Chess. Well, look, if there was a scratch, it were you what made it. She wasn't doing out. Oh, there is a scratch. You can see it. Yeah, well, you want to get some daft glasses then to go with your daft car. <sighs> Come on, love, just ignore them. Well, get your dad to have a look at it. Did you see anything? No, no. I was looking the other way altogether. You don't really want to go, do you? Oh, never mind what I want. These are your neighbours we're talking about. But they won't miss me. Sally has people she wants to invite, and we're not on that list. Then she's got people she feels she ought to invite, but won't mind if they don't turn up. Oh, dear. Oh, come on, she's not that bad. <laughs> no? If you feel you ought to show your face, then I'll keep you company, course I will. We'll go down to Rovers, eh? Oh, I wish I was coming with you. Oh, hello. You're back early. Well, Kev wanted to get back for this party. Hello, Tyrone. Hiya. Um, I've put the immersion heater on, so there should be plenty of hot water. Right. Can I just apologise for my husband's bad manners? There's no need. Thank you, love. Thank you, lovey. So, you think we should go to this party in Bristol, then? What party in Bristol? Is there any more? Yeah, you can get the serviettes out of that drawer and pop them next to the food. Serviettes next to the food world, eh? I told you. The lad I went to school with. Jimmy Woods. Have you started drinking already? Well, someone had to be first. Oh, I might have known it would be you. I'm not even sure we've got enough drinks for everybody that's coming. Well, they'll bring some. Well, Kevin, they might not. Anything I can do? Um, yeah, you can get the quiches out of the oven and put them on plates. Put them, put them in nice, even slices and use the best plates. Yeah, the guy I went to school with from Bristol. It's his 40th. Tomorrow, I think, he's trying to get us all back together. Oh, no. We're not even ready yet. Of course we are. Oh, Derek. I mean, 
Bristol's not that far, is it, if I stop over? You know, I think you're right. I should go. Well, I'm right. Well, that's what you said before. Look, if that's Sophie's friends, make sure they don't eat all the food. <laughs> and how am I supposed to do that? Well, I don't know. Hide some of the food. Put it in the washing machine. Oh, hi. Hello, Mrs. Webster. Hello, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> We're not too early, are we? No, no, of course not. <laughs> well, go on then. I'm doing. Um, we all club together and got you them. Because Sophie said you liked him, so... <laughs> oh, thank you. That was lovely. Look, Kevin. Yeah? How's Maria's baby? OK. <laughs> Why don't you take everybody through to the back garden, Sophie, eh? Yeah, yeah well, do. Uh, when you are. <laughs> I, I won't be leaving until about dinner time, so I can help you tidy up first. Yeah. OK, well, make yourself useful first. And then spray some air freshener in the bathroom. Yeah, OK. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just go now? Oh, no, come on, you promised. But they make it the wrong idea. Wrong in what way? I bet the two of us. But the nature of our relationship. No. Because I shall tell him. But sometimes people don't always believe what they're told. Yeah, well, that'll be their problem then, won't it? No, you're not going yet. Yeah. Is he, Liam? Yeah. No, he's not. You know what I don't get? Why are you so much of Christianity all about sex? How do you mean? Well, all about what you should and shouldn't do. I mean, if something's natural, doesn't that mean it's good? Well, all I can say is, if that was my sister, I'd be giving her a slap. Yeah, well, I might do in a minute. Won't wait too long. Excuse me, is this a private conversation? I'll pay anyone joining. We're private, but I'll give him back to you for now. What's your little guy? Sure, yeah. Get you! She's looking very well, Sally, for her age, don't you think? Yeah, I suppose she is. Yeah, we've always had an eye for attractive women, the Websters. Still, that can bring its problems. As we've both found out at one time or another. It's really nice of you to invite us. Though I don't think Ben thought so. You're going to the same party as me. He couldn't believe such a thing could happen. <laughs> well, he's in the garden. Yeah, well, in that case, I think we'll stay indoors. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Now, can I offer you a drink? Oh, we'll help ourselves to a soft drink if that's okay. Yeah, of course, yeah. I don't normally drink alcohol, it's just special occasions, you know. It's okay. Oh, excuse me. I wasn't expecting you. Not Tyrone invited me. He thought I could help out with the catering. Oh, what brought you leftovers, have you? Oh, they're not past the sell by date. Oh, thank you. And uh, I've also got you this. Happy birthday. Now, I've put the receipt in, not so you can see how much it costs, but if it's the wrong size, you can take it back. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Now, help yourself to a drink. Oh, thanks. Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you. Hey, I was right about the drinks, Kevin. We're not going to have enough, especially soft drinks. You're not asking us to go without her, yeah? No, but I think you should go out and at least get another two dozen cans of beer and, and maybe some more wine and all. OK. OK. You are right, kids? You having a nice time? Yeah. Cheers. I told you I was going to see John today. Well, now I am. <laughs> and don't say you don't like it, Chess, because after the way you behaved before, I don't care what you like or don't like. Has he told you what he did? Oh. They told him you scratched Rosie Webster's car, yeah? <laughs> yeah, and you think that's funny? No. It was a nasty trick and he should be ashamed of himself. Though, so, I don't suppose he is. Yeah, and I think you should be ashamed of yourself. What, for seeing John? Well, I'm not. And I never will be. Don't worry, mate. She'll have forgotten by tomorrow. Yeah, but I won't. Oh, party finished already, mate. Just go for some more booze. Uh, go in. Most people's out the back. Will do. 
You look very nice. Thank you. You are going for a drink? Close the shop. That's what you wanted me to do. Hmm? You should have more staff. Then you wouldn't be faced with such dilemmas. No, I'd just be faced with a bigger wage bill, and then I wouldn't be able to afford to go for a drink. You all right there, Kevin? Yeah. Is it all right if I take some of these? Pay you when I come back. Yeah, Molly, what can I get you with? Um, I'll have a glass of white wine if there is one. Oh, well, certainly is. And then these are the bigger houses, and of course we've got the garden. Mm, which is nice. If you like gardening. <laughs> I love it. I'm never out of there. That's not mine, is it? Well, you know what? It sounds like Kev's. Oh, yes, it is. It's here. <laughs> Hello? Oh, no, I'm sorry, he's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? An executive room's become available if he wants one. Well, when's that for? Tomorrow Don't need night. to panic. Relief supplies Sorry. have arrived. You say you're the, the Highbury Castle Hotel? And, and my husband's made a, a booking with you. Are you sure about that? Oh dear. And we're back in Corrie in half an hour. Hello? It is, yeah. What would Kevin want with a hotel room? Beats me. But he hates hotels. He says they're a waste of money. It's something to do with business, maybe. An executive room with a jacuzzi bath. All right, yeah. Thanks for phoning. What do you think you're playing at? What? You've no right to answer me phone. You left it there. I thought it was important. Don't be so aggressive. What's going on, Kevin? Think about it, Sal. Think about what? I think someone might be planning a surprise. <laughs> oh, all these years we've been married. I thought I knew you, and then you go and do something like this. It's only a blooming hotel, in fact. It's more of a and b and I got some coupons out of the paper, so saved a bit of money. Oh, you're a very good liar. <laughs> Am I? Oh, stop about a boy's weekend, and I totally believed you. Well, I needed a cover story, <laughs> didn't I? Oh, <laughs> How's your day been? Great. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm off the medication. Oh, well, that, that is excellent news. <laughs> I wasn't on anything heavy duty. Just, um... What? When I was on suicide watch, they decided I needed a little pick-me-up. I hope so. You were depressed. Who in here isn't? Anyway, I'm not anymore. That's official. Although the shrink did need some persuading that you actually exist. <laughs> and we are actually getting married. Unless you're having second thoughts. No, of course I'm not having second thoughts. Only I won't blame you. I'm, I have just made myself sound like a nutcase. Of course, I still want to marry you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I need a big, strong man. I can help. Put your tongue away. Ah, oh, Ben. You're right. Could you open this one, please? Sure. Oh. Wow, you're so strong. Oh, get your drink. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> can I offer you more cordial? No, I'm fine, thanks. And me, thanks. 
So, how's the news gone down anyway? What's the set tongues wagging? Oh, um, no, people have been very good about it. Really? In the main, yeah. What about Chez? Chez. Must have been a shock when I found out what we were planning. A bit, yeah. But he's warm into the idea. Good. I hope he'll be able to come. But I have even harboured the vain hope that he might be my best man. I'd let him get used to the idea for a bit longer first. Have you given any more thoughts what kind of wedding he'd like? I don't know. Church? Registry office? I think about nothing else. <laughs> I, I don't know. You get married practically anywhere these days. Football grounds, country houses, Las Vegas. A lad on our wing, he's talking about getting wedding here. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you get married in prison? I believe so, yeah. I'd love to do that. Really? There we are. It's great to see you. <laughs> Have you really just had a baby? You look fantastic. Aww. Well, it's taken a team of stylists most of the afternoon to achieve this. No, <laughs> not for our sake, I hope. Oh, we really don't want you to put yourself out. No, no, it was a little treat. <laughs> Oh, um, you remember Tony, don't you? Oh, yes. Carla's uh, husband. Oh, estranged. <laughs> yeah, he's been um, helping me out with the baby. <laughs> really? Yeah, he delivered him. Uh, is, is he a midwife? I thought he owned a factory. <laughs> anyway, I'd better get going. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Bye. So, come on, where's baby Liam? He's asleep. <laughs> well, wake him up. Let's have a look at him. I, I just settled him about half an hour ago. Oh, did you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to interfere, but Maria's not been sleeping well recently. Tony, we've come all the way over from Ireland. Of course I don't mind waking him up. Bye. <laughs> Thank God you said something before I made a total fool of myself. You're OK. I don't know what was going through my mind with everything except the obvious. First thing that came into my head. It's just not something Kevin normally does. I mean, even for my birthday. Well, I might have given him a gentle nudge. You? Out training, he was at a loss for what to get you. Actually, I think he's letting the side down there. Why? Now, we'll all be expected to whisk our wives off to some posh hotel, won't we? <laughs> I wish. You ain't surprises. Even if I bring you something different back from shop, you say, why don't you ring me and see what I fancied? He means I don't like surprises involving awful. <laughs> well, I'm happy with a box of chocolates, me. <laughs> well, that's a relief. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get a cat. Right. Chop up. Fantastic. Yes, please, yeah. That was me thinking I might break up your marriage. It's like I just saved it. I'd much rather be going with you. I saved your bacon, you just stood there catching flies. I would have thought of something. Like what? I don't know, but maybe we could have still gone. Well, I hope you have a brilliant time without me. Of course I won't, you know one. Change the subject. Ah, it's him in L. I think it's brilliant. I can think of more romantic settings for a wedding than a prison chapel. Well, it's not about the building. It's about you and me pledging our lives to each other. She's right, you know. It's all done very tastefully. A bit like a proper wedding. It can be very moving. Thank you for your advice. No problem. <clears throat> I still think it's a mad idea. The thing is, Ryder, the lad who's talking about getting wedded here, he's serving three life sentences. Oh, what for? Never mind that. Look, the point is, he ain't ever coming out. He knows that. Naomi knows that. Is that his girlfriend? She's marrying him to give him a reason to live. Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm not serving a life sentence, am I? I'm getting out in a few months. 
Did it make sense to wait until we can have our friends and family with us? Till we can put me being in here behind us? I think that we might have to consider off-street parking. Really? Can I just remind you, it's my car. No, all I'm saying is with a car like that, it's bound to attract the attention of undesirable. Alfie's did was whack it with a magazine. Yeah, well, maybe next time we won't be so lucky. I mean, I think we should look into renting a garage or something. What is the point in having a flash car if you've got to walk miles just to drive it? Do you like cars, Ben? Yeah. Do you like my car? It's nice, yeah. Well, maybe if you play your cards right, I might take you for a spin one day. You can't drive when I pass my test. Honestly, it goes like a rocket. Rosa, he's not into cars, he's into me. <laughs> Are you following me? Yeah. Don't. Look, I'll find a way for us to spend some time together. Don't be daft. I mean it. I'll sort something out. Surely one woman in your hall room should get a nice dream. I don't want to go if I can't go with you. We had a really lucky escape today. I'll sort something else out. I promise you. Something really special. Right, you've had your fun, now pack it in. Pack what in? You know what I'm talking about. Rosie, you've been flirting with him all night. We're only having a laugh. You've been paranoid. You know exactly what you're doing. So cut it out or else. Threaten me. You had any more hot dates then, Wing Commander? No, I've uh, hung up my boots as far as the dating thing goes. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Um, no, not really. I feel a bit sick. Must be then marinated anchovies. Yeah, it was a headache. I think I'm going to go home. Oh, well, hang on. I'll come with you. Well, no, you stop here. I don't want to spoil your fun. It's fine. I'll... See you later. Oh, you're not going, are you? It's only early. Oh, I'm not feeling too clever, so... Oh, not least, do have another drink? No, I've had a lovely time, but thank you. I'll... See you later. Bye. Don't go, please. Bye, Kevin. Bring the cake in. Oh, right. Hey, are we going to sing Happy Birthday then? <laughs> no, we're going to sing Old Lang Syne. Of course we are, you silly devil. <laughs> yeah, we would have moved a lot sooner, but what with the school fees and everything. Rosie was at Oak Hill, wasn't she? That's right. I mean, some people around here thought we were mad, but I think it's the best investment we've ever made. <laughs> What's going on? Well, she was playing with Ben and he asked her to stop, but she didn't. So I threw him a glass of wine over her. Hey, 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 you pack it in. How much have you had to drink? Well, at least four glasses that I've counted. Oh, I'm sorry. Who are you? The carver, please. Well, look at you. It makes you aggressive. No, what makes you aggressive is her flirting with you. So ignore her? No, I prefer it if you ignored her. Hold on. I'm not allowed to talk to anyone else now. No, not to encourage her, no. I know what the sensible thing is, but I'm not a sensible girl. Look at the way I proposed. Yeah, I'll give you that. And what I was trying to tell you that day, what I was trying to tell the world, was that I want to be with you. And I don't care that you're in here. Which is fantastic. And I have to pinch myself every time I think about it. I'd marry you today if I could. 
I don't want to wait till you get out. I can't wait. Okay, visiting time's up. Oh, fizz. We can have a party or a blessing. Where's the one when you get out? I want to marry you as soon as we can arrange it. I want to marry you in here. He's so beautiful. And he's the spitting image of you. Bit like having him back, eh? Sorry. I forgot my razor. Oh? Yeah, I left it charging in the kitchen. Oh, right. It's all right, I'll get it. Got it. Are you okay? No. I'm timing. I'm missing you both already. Is that why you've come round? No, I came back to get my razor. But if I hadn't, I'd have come back in some other pretext. I'm sitting in that flat worrying about him. Well, there's no need to worry. It's fine, Lord, I promise. I can't believe I've grown so close to... <laughs> Close to such a little baby. Well, we miss you too. But we won't be here for long. I want visitation rights. No, I demand them. <laughs> Don't be daft. No. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, you missed the fight. The Webster sisters scrapping over that, Ben. Uh, <laughs> to be a teenager again, eh? He won. Well, Kev stepped in to sort him out. I am going to Rovers meeting Jack and Connie, if you fancy it. I've just run a bath. Oh, yeah? Want me to scrub <laughs> your back? <laughs> no. I'm just going to curl up and read a magazine. Suit yourself. Don't wait up. All right. See you. Bye. You must be if you think I was flirting with Rosie. Your eyes was on Starks every time she come near you. Two people chatting, that's all it was. The only person that saw anything different was you. Don't tell me you don't fancy her. <laughs> of course I don't fancy her. She dresses like a hooker. Uh, 200 quid, 100 quid and 90 quid. Okay, she dresses like a high class hooker. But what bugs me is that you don't trust me. How do you trust ya? You? you can't do, or else you wouldn't be saying all this. Yeah, you're right, babe. I'm sorry. I'm just being a bit jealous. No! You see, I don't go out with someone who gets drunk and gets into fights. Even if I wasn't a Christian, I wouldn't. Okay, then. I've got to marry yourself for nothing! <laughs> if that's the hard time again, tell him I want all the spa treatments going. I'm going to need him after this. Hello? Hello? I'm on my own. Come round now. What now? Yeah. Uh, that was Molly. She's just seen a light on in the garage. I better go and check it out. Don't be long. He's an unusual choice of birth partner. <laughs> well, it wasn't planned. Mm. <laughs> what, do you really think I wanted to have my baby on a beach? And how long has he been charging up his razor in your kitchen? That's really none of our business. I think it is. Well, he's stayed over a couple of nights, yeah. But it is a 24-hour job looking after a baby. So you and he are an item? No. I'd be very careful, because that man is carrying a torch for you. Liam. <laughs> The 
I'm sorry about tonight. Your landlady Molly, is she happy in her work? I think so, I. Um, uh, how long has she been married? About six months. <laughs> She'll be starting a family soon then. I don't know, I haven't asked her. Ah, damn. At <laughs> last, my belly thinks my throat has been cut. Mm. Mm. You know, it's not against the law to buy your own drink. Yeah. Here we go. Good lad. Cheers, Jack. Cheers, kid. Let's get back. Kev, enjoy the jacuzzi. Been gone ages. Yeah, yeah. The alarm was on the blink. I had to get my manual out and reset it. Do you want a drink? No, I'm, I'm all right, thanks. Didn't miss any more action, did I? No. It's all winding down now. The girls didn't spoil it too much for you. No. I've been walking on air all night anyway. How come? Because everybody's been telling me what a wonderful husband I have. And I've been agreeing with them. Oh, well. That's good. No, I mean it, Kevin. You're a fantastic husband and you're a lovely dad and... I, I don't tell you often enough. Well, Matters of the Heart is the subject as well. Next here on ITV1, Doc Martin's going on a date. That's sure to go well, then. And it's the second semi-final in L.A., America's Got Talent, on ITV2 next. And it's the story of the only convict to have broken out of Sydney's Long Bay Maximum Security Bunker. That's on ITV4 now. Real prison breaks. <laughs>